What it do, it's ICU. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be looking at Black Ops 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'm gonna be letting you guys know which one is my favorite in the franchise. Let me know which one is your favorite in the franchise in the comments down below. I'll give you a little hint. It's not the one on my hat. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, it'd only be right if we went in order. So let's start with Black Ops 1. I have a little sticky note here I'm gonna be referencing. As you can see, it's not in very much detail. Uh, well, you guys can't see it because we're on the green screen. But here we go. The guns were great, okay? The guns were great in Black Ops 1. The maps were great in Black Ops 1. The kill streaks were great in Black Ops 1. The game was a 10 out of 10. So I'm sure you guys are going to be really happy about this. I'm going to cut to the chase. Black Ops 1 is the best one in the franchise, in my opinion. So if you guys don't agree with me, that's okay. That's fine because it's a close tie between one other Black Ops game, and we'll get into that. And I'll go into detail a little bit when I say the guns were great. I mean, we could just reflect back and look at some of these weapons that were in that game. The FAMAS, the Galil, the MP5. A lot of even the weapons that we're seeing today were back in those games. And in my opinion, the guns were, were better back then. More fun to use, more unique, the AK-74U. And, and let me just touch on that. Everything was unique about them back then. Just remember how that FAMAS felt when you shoot it. It's very good in Black Ops 3 too, but we're not talking about Black Ops 3 yet. Maps were great. You guys can reflect on the maps. Even some of the DLC maps that they put in were actually really freaking good. Um, Summit, I mean, think about how many remakes we've seen. A lot of them have come directly from Black Ops 1 and even some from Black Ops 2. But we're not there yet, bro. Kill streaks were great. First time I think we saw dogs or the second time we saw dogs. I think they were in World at War as well pretty sure um you had the chopper gunner i think we can all agree that the chopper gunner was the best in black ops one i remember when you got up into that freaking yank that door open dude tell me about it i know i'm getting too into it this was my favorite game in the franchise within the black ops series and the whole entire call of duty franchise the game was a 10 out of 10 that's the last thing i wrote on this sticky note the game was a 10 out of 10 bro um Yes, there was some things about it, right? But the game was fucking great, man. I really like that game. We're done talking about that one. Let's get into the next one, Black Ops 2. Probably your favorite one of the series. Let me know in the comments down below. Black Ops 2. This is probably your favorite Call of Duty of all time, let alone just your favorite Black Ops game. Uh, the weapons were really good. The maps were really good. The kill streaks were dope, and overall, it's a 10 out of 10 game as well. Very well could be my favorite, you know, Call of Duty game, too. I love the whole Black Ops franchise, man. Black Ops 2, we had the M8, the MSMC. I mean, those are the two best SMGs, or two best weapons, SMG and Assault Rifle. Uh, the kill streaks were freaking clean, man. You had the Lodestar, that little robot that cruised around. I think Dogs made it back. I mean, this might have been the Call of Duty that had one of the most amount of kill streaks and the badass you know nist to match it to be honest and uh, just the way the whole score streak system worked i think this was the first time that we got score streaks i can be mistaken i don't remember i think this might have been the first time that score streaks were uh, introduced this game was badass man the maps we had expressed hijacked raid i'm trying to think of some of the other ones leave them down in the comments down below Dude, this game was really freaking good. Overall, like I said, a 10 out of 10. Um, it's really, you know, the uniqueness was there. Treyarch always matches that, man. They, they bring this this uniqueness across the board with their games. I think every single one of their games is, is preferable to the way I like video games to be versus, uh, you know, Infinity Ward's version. I still like IW Call of Duty, but Treyarch just does it better. I mean... There's really nothing we can talk more about Black Ops 2. I think most of the people watching this video do know probably everything there is to know about Black Ops 2. If you're watching this video, you're probably a Black Ops fan. Let's jump into the next one, Black Ops 3. All right, guys. Black Ops 3, BO3. The close, close first place, man. This was almost my first place. I go back and forth about this all the time. If Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 3 is my favorite, and it's so close... I have to almost just pick both of them to take the first place, man. You had the VMP, the M8 remake, CUDA. What else did I write down here, man? I don't even know what I wrote here. I was so fired up about talking about this one. 
Black Ops 3, dude, I stream this one every day on my Twitch channel, dude. I love this game. I play it on PC. The servers are kind of still holding true over there since uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 went on sale on Steam. Um, you know, the maps, some iconic map. All the maps were good in all the Treyarch games, but in Black Ops 3, the way that they made the maps to work with their movement system, they did such a good job, man. Even like Nuketown 3, like, how do you have such a small map and make it work efficiently as it does with how fast you can move with these jetpacks? I don't know how they do it. Treyarch, you obviously, you know, you're the best studio in my eyes. Kill streaks were cold in this game. A lot of cool kill streaks. Even like remaking some to keep the you know iconic ones to bring them in, like the raps or the new dogs. I mean, uh, what other kill streaks do we have in the game? Leave them down in the comments below. Uh, I don't even use that many of them. I usually just run UAV counter and and the guardian. Man, I love the guardian. You can shut off spawns with that thing. Kill streaks overall. My opinion, another 10 out of 10 game again. Surprise, surprise. I really like this game. I could easily call this a first place game as well. One of my favorite games of all time, man. I fucking love Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Let's talk about the one on my hat. Black Ops 4, man. The last one in the Black Ops franchise, if you don't count Black Ops Cold War. I'm not including Black Ops Cold War in this game compilation black ops video black ops 4 i love this game too man <laughs> this game was a lot of fun for me man this was like one of the last cods i really had a lot of fun with um i had a lot of fun with cold war i don't know what i'm talking about uh treyarch games are fun like that's usually how i describe it i'm gonna you know stay on topic with black ops 4 but i want to touch on this the reason why uh, treyarch's the best studio man is because they make fun games and somehow what do you know it works for competitive too and you know they make the most fun game and they work the best with the competitive call of duty community give them all the money <laughs> have the others to have the other studios be support studios if they don't know how to manage the uh you know public match community and the ranked playlist and the competitive community you know i mean come on now we're here to talk about black ops 4 man this this is the longest time to kill we've ever seen in call of duty in my opinion let me know if you guys agree with that in the comments down below black ops 4 was freaking sick man i really enjoyed this game the maps were great the guns were fun as hell you had the maddox the icr you know this is the first cod i actually used an assault rifle like all the time and it was the maddox but the maddox basically was like a universal type weapon it was great for close range and it was pretty damn good for long range too maddox was a unique weapon i really liked that uh that weapon a lot i had a lot of fun using it just thinking about it, I have Black Ops 4 on my PC. I'm going to see if I can find a lobby on it. I'm going to have to to get you guys gameplay for it. Black Ops 4, man. Great Call of Duty. Um, kill streaks. Let's reflect on the kill streaks a little bit. I'm trying to think about some of the kill streaks for in that game. Like I said, guys, I'm a slayer. I usually just use UAV, counter, and uh, one of the lower end kill streaks. But a lot of the kill streaks in that game were pretty sick. I'll pull them up, put some on the on the screen. Um, I don't know, guys. Uh, I think that game might have been one of the best games for competitive COD. I will say that. Um, that was a really... I mean, Black Ops 3 was a lot of fun to watch competitive, but Black Ops 4 was really cool. The plays that would be made in that game. I mean, the shot punches got to be a little bit much, but they were still, you know, somewhat skilled out there. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, this is really just my opinion on the Black Ops 4 franchise. If you clicked on this video and thought it was, like, some crazy ranking system... That's not what I'm here to do. I will tell you what I put them in order. In my order, it goes Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 4. And if I was to include Cold War, you know, I'd probably put it as 5. But I still think that game's really freaking good, in my opinion, as well. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I want to close it out just by saying that uh, I do stream on Twitch. You guys know everyone shouts their Twitches out on their YouTube. Check out my Twitch. I have a lot of fun over there. I've been streaming pretty much strictly just the Black Ops series, and right now I'm playing Black Ops 3. I'm giving away $50 on February 11th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The only thing you have to do to enter is be followed here on my Twitch channel, or not here on my Twitch channel, but follow my Twitch channel. Subscribe here on my YouTube and follow my Twitter. That's how you enter. Come over to the chat. Ask me what you have to do to make sure you secure your entry, and I'll let you guys know. 
I really appreciate you guys watching. You guys know all the other things you can do to support the channel. Leave a like. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think about this type of video as well as some of the things we were talking about it within it. And um, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Subscribe down below. Doses. I'll see you in the next one. Wait, that's my name and shit, too. What the...